Hey everybody, it's Adam and I am with Jen Schachter. Jen, you have been crazy, crazy busy. We're <laughs> in Austin right now yeah. in the shop of Thinkery, which is its own brand of awesome. But you're in Austin because you have just completed an amazing project. Can you, let's just overview it for the, for the watchers. Yeah, so we've been working on, for the past couple weeks, brainstorming this scavenger hunt, puzzle, search, uh, all around Austin. So we put together these nine ideas for pieces of this puzzle. They're all themed different disciplines in making, and they all feature a person, a tool, and some iconic thing from that discipline. All the pieces were laser cut and glued together, and we found locations in Austin to send them to to hide them, and people have been searching for them. So, and this is all part of a thing that's happening while South by Southwest yeah. is taking over and is an octopus wrapping its arms around Austin. I don't think you've really quite done it justice. You really laser cut these beautiful tableaus into nine separate pieces of incredible depth, mm -hmm. um, both in terms of multiple layers of laser cutting, but also depth in terms of history of making in all the ways in which we could think about making and imbued each piece as a kind of a, a design dive into mm -hmm. educating people about making. Yes, yeah, and the clues to find the pieces were related to what's depicted on them. So there's all this research and history and trivia about each of those disciplines. So you really had to dig in to that field of making to be able to even find the piece. Okay, so <laughs> I, it got me tired just imagining <laughs> how much work you were doing both mentally and physically to get this ready. But then you flew to Austin with the places you were going to hide them and with the clues. Once you did that, you released those clues. And mm -hmm. I got, I loved watching on Twitter as yeah. people started sharing information. What was the most surprising thing for you about watching people go on your scavenger hunt? Uh, I think watching people solve the riddles because people were collaborating over, over the comment section and over Twitter. And some people that weren't even in Austin were participating and they're like, oh, I know the answer to this one. And I'm gonna look up the hours of the place where I think that the piece <sighs> is hidden. So they were helping each other yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, and they, it actually happened really quickly. People, people working together were able to decipher them really, really fast. So as soon as those pieces hit the ground, they were already running, people were already going to find the pieces. Wow, yeah. tell me about some of the people that went out to find these pieces. When they, let me just ask, when they went to find them, were they getting them from someone behind a counter or were they like going to some secret location and digging them up? Not digging them up, okay. uh, we didn't have time to bury them. <laughs> I was literally like finishing the pieces, they were coming off the laser cutter and I was frantically gluing and clamping and I'm looking at the clock being like, the post office closes at five, I have to get there because these pieces have to arrive in Austin. Wow. And I overnighted one of them, so it was a really fast process uh, but no they they would go to a, the front desk at whatever location they were going to some of them they had to call and and schedule a time to go meet the person ah. uh, so the Cathedral of Junk for example uh, it's a big castle essentially built out of garbage in right. this guy's yard and uh, they had to call him and schedule a time to go visit his house to go pick up the piece so tell me about some of the people that went and found these pieces. There's some great stories. In here. Yeah, yeah. So one of the ones that I, I, I think my favorite one was I had been getting phone calls the whole day from, from Austin. My phone keeps ringing off the hook. And I think it was piece maybe four or five that, that had been found. And I went to the grocery store because I was like, okay, I'm going to start to be a normal human again. And my <laughs> phone rings again and it's Texas. So I put down my basket and I go out to my car and it's a dad. And he's like, my whole family has been working on these, on these clues together. And my wife is at home and I I've got my two daughters here and they're really, really excited and I can hear them in the background. So I was like, wow. oh, this was a family effort and they, they solved the clues together and went to the Austin Nature and Science Center to pick up the piece. And uh, as soon as I got off the phone, I called my dad and I was like, you're not gonna believe this. This is such <laughs> a great story. Uh, he's, he's been a, a huge supporter and this, this dad was telling me that his daughters have been fans of, of Mythbusters since before they were born. So <laughs> they, they're like ages eight and 11. He's like, the, the show is older than they are. So yeah. they're super excited and I can't wait to meet them when they oh. get here. Um, was there any aspect of the process that really surprised you, that stood out for you in terms of, I mean, cause you really, you steered this ship from the beginning all the way to the end from the design process which is itself mm -hmm. really beautiful to the engineering and mm -hmm. then the construction it was all yours so is there some piece of that that really blew you away with this project as with many projects just surprising that it all worked there mm -hmm. were so many components to it so coming up with the idea figuring out how to translate these images into vector drawings and then laser cutting them the execution of, of 
clamping everything together and getting it to work and there are lots of technical struggles but then also thinking this has got to come together there's all these places and all these people have to be involved like logistical management yeah hoping that it was going to work and that it was all going to come together in the timeline and it did and people found the pieces and the clues worked so i think yeah just seeing all of these moving parts come together and i'm excited to see the culmination when they finally are joined back together and, and all snap into place. Have you gotten to see the whole puzzle completed? No, ah, <laughs> because I was mailing them as a, like as soon as I would finish them, I didn't get them all done at the same time. So I was like, ship them out, ship them out as soon as they're finished. Wow. Yeah. I, I love how much of a community you created. I loved watching the comments section on Tested and on Twitter and other media were watching where people were sharing information, yeah. were being really egalitarian about helping. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what we were hoping to engender with this. That's that's the part that I, I also really enjoy is the community interactivity of it. It's not just, you know, me alone doing vector drawings. It's like this goes out into the world and you get to participate and learn and talk to each other across states and that's that's the most fun part I think. Well I think that puzzle's almost assembled. So let's go check it out. Yeah. Wow. Challenge accepted. And like, it's like, how does come on? Yeah, because it's saxophone. Come on, cultural. Here we go. <laughs> My mom, she um, kind of had the knack for it, like yeah. solving the clues because she uh, like the nanograms. It was very much more easy for my mom than my dad because <laughs> my dad doesn't do grants that good. <laughs> how, did, how did you guys find the clues? Were they easy? Were they hard? I have no, no sense of how... Oh, we kept getting two out of three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. They weren't too easy. Three. I think it was the MIDI one was the hardest because the yeah. second word could have been sequencing, controller, or instrument. Or instrument. Oh, so it's it, 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 all the know, same length. Oh. Yeah, the same number of letters. Yeah. So, so I did I, I did the research and reading to to know about all these different things and try to pick <laughs> what musician can represent all of them. Yeah. Jen, that could not have gone better. Do you? Feel like you have a bug to do more scavenger hunts in the future? Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. Okay, you rocked, you killed. That was fabulous. Thank you. That's it. See you at the next scavenger hunt.